Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss another example of Turing machine where we will see how to design Turing machine for given language. So, our task is to design Turing machine which recognize the language a raised to n b raised to n where n is greater than equal to 1. So, given l is a raised to n b raised to n meaning is very simple. Number of A should be exactly same as number of B and A should be followed by B. So, if you have N number of A's, you must have exactly N number of B's. Let us say some string accepting in given language LR, 1A followed by 1B, 2 occurrence of A followed by 2 occurrence of B, 3A followed by 3B. So, number of A is exactly same as number of B and A is followed by B. So first of all let us see the logic to implement A raised to N, B raised to N. So here is the input string onto the tab that is 2 times A followed by 2 times B. So our logic is change small a and replace a with capital A. So, first of all, we will convert our small a into the capital A. Then after, keep moving to the right direction to find the first small b. If none, then reject the string. So, keep moving to the right direction, find first leftmost b and convert it to the capital B. Now, again keep moving to the left direction, find leftmost small a. Now, here is our first leftmost small a. So, move to the left, to the leftmost a. So, a will be replaced with capital A and move to the right direction, find corresponding small b. And repeat the above step until no more a's. So, convert this small b to the capital A. B. Now, last step is make sure no more small b remains. So, logic is very simple. Find out the leftmost small a, convert into the capital A, search for the corresponding small b, convert into the capital B, again find leftmost small a, convert to the capital A, find corresponding small b, convert to the capital B. Again, leftmost A, replace it and again B is replaced with capital B. So, logic is very simple. Let us implement the logic into the diagram format. So, here I have Turing machine which follows the exactly same logic we have written in our previous slide. So, first of all, my tape head is over here. It represent the delta. As we know, delta is not part of our input string. So, no need to replace delta with anything. So, replace delta with delta and keep moving to the right direction. So, delta is replaced with delta and move to the right direction. In right direction, now we have our first A. So, as per our logic, A will be converted to the capital A and move to the right direction to find out our corresponding first B. So, A will be replaced with A and move to the right direction. Now, in right direction, we have small a. So, now our task is to find the corresponding first B. So, just bypass this small a. So, in state Q2, this loop will help us to bypass the A. So, A will be replaced with A and move to the right direction. Now, if we move one step to the right direction, we have small b. So, B will be replaced with B and keep moving to the left direction. Now, in left, I have my small a. But we will keep moving to the left until we find our first capital a. So, keep moving to the left direction until we find first capital A. So, again I have my capital A over here. So, whenever you have capital A, you understand that following that you have first leftmost A. So, A will be replaced with 
capital A and move to the right direction. Again, we have small a. So, this process will continue. A will be replaced with capital A and move to the right direction. Now, we want to find out our leftmost B. So, keep moving to the right. B is replaced with capital B and move to the right direction. Small b is replaced with capital B and now keep moving to the left direction until we find the first capital A. So, here is our first capital A. Now, A is replaced with capital A and move to the right direction. If we move one step to the right direction after capital A, we do not have small a but we have capital B. So, now no more a remains. So, B is replaced with B and move to the right direction. So, we have to consider the transaction from state Q1 to state Q4. So, B will be replaced with B and move to the right direction. Just bypass all the capital B and check no more small b remain. So, B is replaced with capital B and move to the right direction. So, delta is replaced with delta and string will be accepted by the Turing machine. So, this is very simple logic. This loop will help you to find out the A and corresponding B. Convert A into the capital A, find out the uh, corresponding B and convert B to the capital B. So, logic is very simple. Now, in any case, if you does not find corresponding B for A, then this type of string should be rejected by Turing machine. So, now if you see no reject state mentioned over here, that doesn't mean there is no reject state. It means that whenever there is a missing age for any transition, that will implicitly goes to the reject state. So, it is just we have not defined it separately. So, this was the Turing machine for A raise to N, B raise to N, where N is greater than equal to 1. Now, exactly on the same way, you can design Turing machine for A raise to N, B raise to N, C raise to N, where N is greater than equal to 0. So, logic is convert small a into the capital A, keep moving to the right direction. Find first B, convert into the capital B. Again, keep moving to the right direction until you find the first C, convert into the capital C and again the same process will be repeated. So, A to capital A, B to capital B and C to capital C. So, this process will continue until you find the small a, b and c. Now, one more thing is here n is greater than equal to 0. That means if the value of n is equal to 0, that means there is no occurrence of a, b and c. So, it is the blank string. So, blank string will be accepted from state q0 to q1 and q1 to direct h a state. I hope it is clear. Thank you all of you.